Hi everyone, and welcome back to another BTL replay. All right, before we jump into Pretium, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, be sure to follow us on Twitter, also known as X now, or join the Discord to keep in touch with our, you know, BTLO, BTL1 community. So links are in the description box below. So let's get started. All right, so this is gonna be an interesting one. <laughs> Super stoked. I don't have a fan in the background, so everything should be clear. Okay. What do we have so far? We got a long scenario, probably not gonna read that, but general consensus, let's see. A managed detection and response, MDR SOC, pulled a suspicious email from a client that included malicious link to an executable file. We have a PCAP that we could look through. All right, pretty much. We have some tools that we might be using for the investigation, Wireshark, T-Shark, NetWitness, CyberChef. We have the MITRE ID number. Um, I already got the lab loaded up in advance, so we're definitely gonna jump into that. And yeah, so let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna click it, because it'll just open Wireshark automatically. I assume it will. Let's see. Um, this should spin up Wireshark by default, or we could just open Wireshark using this uh, shortcut link and just drag the file in there, or the PCAP in there, or just open it from there. So it's loading up, booting up. Um, Wow, that's still an explore. I'm, I'm, I'm really liking the lab. Oh my God, the thumbnail. Thumbnail looks really clean. Shout out to Dora. <laughs> Dora's a beast with the thumbnails. All right, let's see. It's loading up. All right, sweet. Uh, let me full screen it so you guys can see. Uh, view, let's see what we got. Let's zoom in a little bit. Control plus plus, let me try that. I'm on Mac, so hopefully, let's try it out, control. Oh, okay, okay. Nice. All right, see, okay. I hope that's better for you guys. What I'm gonna do here, going back to the question, what is the full file name for the initial payload file? Um, So we got a lot of data here. I mean, it, it wouldn't make sense for us to like scroll down and just trying to find stuff. We could easily use the Wireshark filter. Now there's many cheat sheets online. Um, I'm actually curious if they actually linked that there. They did not, which is cool. But there's many cheat sheets online to apply Wireshark filter. Um, so what we want to do here, going back at the scenario, let me actually, where is it? Uh, details. You see one of the saw blah, blah, blah. He received an email from an internal colleague. The adjusted invoice can be downloaded via this link for your review. So what we could do here, because it looked like the victim at hand download the invoice via a link found on a, a phishing email. So what we could do, we could filter for, I guess, HTTP. Sorry, not HTTP, HTTP traffic. All right, hopefully you guys got your networking skills up. Port 80, you know, port 443. Um, let's just filter for HTTP traffic, HTTP, hopefully I'm saying that right, and see what we find, because that's a lot of junk here. I mean, a lot of junk here that is gonna take us ages to filter. Um, yeah, let's do that, HTTP. We still got a lot of stuff here. I guess we could just start scrolling down. Oh, look what we got right here. <laughs> OSCP, wait, oh, no, no, that's OCSP. I read that wrong. Um, we have something right here off the bat already. Let me just double check there's nothing else. Yeah, we got something off the bat already. Really, really cool. Um, invoice, let me click this. Interesting, okay. Uh, let me just look at the question again. What is a full file name for the initial payload file? So I assume that's it because we're talking about what? Uh, invoices, right? Invoices, right? So yeah. Okay, let's try that out. Uh, I, I My copy and paste been acting up recently, but I'm just going to type it out. Forgive me. Oops. Invoice. 
Oh, wait, wait, I'm doing that wrong. Hold on. Um, well, let me see if this works. Hold on. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. That should have been, I guess, answer assist really helped me there. I was trying to put a capital B. There we go. What? Wait, hold on. Did, it, did I not just get that right? Did you guys just see that? Or am I tripping? Hold on. Let me just... I must be tripping. I could have sworn I got that right. Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> I could have sworn I got that right. Let me see something. Let me refresh the page. Oh, I did get it right. Okay. I'm tripping. They, so we have an answer assist with BTLO. So I put accidentally put capital B, but it still went through. So I'm just going to put it back to this. All right, cool. Leave it at that. All right, next one. Sorry about that. <laughs> What is the name of the module used to serve the malicious payload? All right. <laughs> I took a Wireshark course back in the past. That's a way to follow. I should probably turn off notifications, but there's a way to follow. Let me actually put my thing on do not disturb. There's a way to follow um, traffic. So if we do right click on the source of that traffic, you can follow. Uh, let me follow the TCP stream. That could open. Let's see if that. What's the name of the module used to serve the malicious payload? That's the server. <sighs> yeah, let's try that out. It's worth a shot. Uh, just double check real quick. Yeah. Well, well hold on. Wait. Let's see the simple HTTP server module. Hold on. Okay, stack overflow to the rescue. Let me actually copy this. Let's see if that works. Yeah, it does work. So, yeah, pretty much that's the module they use, as we saw with you know some quick Google research. Um, interesting. Python server analyzing the traffic. What is the attacker's IP address? All right. So, I mean, we have the source right here. Let me just type that in real quick. I wanted to verify 192.168. Let me actually see. Okay, that worked. Now that you know the payload's name and the module used to deliver the malicious files, what is the URL that was embedded in the malicious email? All right, so this is the, let me just double check, click that. Yep, that's the get application, blah, blah, blah host there's the there's that and i believe the question was asking for that right now you know the payload name yeah i, I think i think that's it right nine we're almost there we're almost there all right pdf and then bats let's see knocked it out the park home run Woo! all right <laughs> Interesting last so far, you know, this is really teaching me a lot about Wireshark. I got to get my Wireshark game up. All right, find the PowerShell launcher string. You don't need to include the base64 script. PowerShell launcher frame. Basic PowerShell launcher string. PowerShell knob SDA normally. That looks fairly similar to... Yep, yo, that might be it. That might be it. So, what I'll do here... I don't think the star or four size B is needed. So I'm just going to copy this. All right. Copy that. Yeah. Let's go. OSET for the win. Guys, you got to use OSET when it comes to this stuff. Got to use OSET. What is the default user agent being used for communication? Yeah. User agent string and it is Mozilla. Oh, yeah. Appears at the start. Oh, UA user agent string. That might be it. That might be it. And again, we're, we're still in this communication. Uh, we're still examining this communication between the internal employee and the, the victim. All right. It's on the same network. So let's try out Mozilla. Mozilla. Yeah. All right. Sweet, sweet. 
You're seeing a lot of HTTP traffic. What is the name of the, a process where malware communicates with a central server asking, it, asking for instructions at the set time interview? Mm. Beaconing, yep. Beaconing is when the malware communicates with a C2 server asking for instructions or to exfiltrate collected data. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that might be it. A little bit of OSINT. Let's try that out. Yep. Woo! All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. What is the URI containing login at the victim machines community? What? All right, guys. <laughs> I'm back. I misread this um, question. I could have sworn it was talking about the URI, so I put in the whole link, but I was not paying attention to the format. So I'm gonna try this again. <laughs> Hopefully this works. Uh, that one actually threw me off. I was heavily confused. Yep. Oh, wow. Guys, pay attention to the format. What is the name of the post, sorry, the popular post exploitation framework used for command and control communication? I could just copy that, paste that into Google. So what we could do, I mean, we could try these one by one. See if that helps. Nope. Cobalt strike. No. Empire. Oh, okay. Wow. It is believed that data is being exfiltrated. Investigate and provide the decoded password. Huh? Wait, hold on. We have T Shark. We never really used that yet. Thinking about it. T Shark. Oh, either printing a decoded form of those packets to standard output or writing the packet to a file. All right, <laughs> I do some research. So I'm back. What I'm doing right now, because I tried running t -shirt GUI, it didn't work. So I'm going to try to run it via CLI. Um, let's see if that helps. Now, with T Shark, what I figured out, there are some flags we could run. So, what I'll do, let me actually full screen this. I'll do T Shark. Can I tab it out? Yeah. I'm going to do dash R. Now, hopefully I can tab this part out. Oh, uh, no, we, no, no, so what I want to do, backslash user, that should, users, BTLO, desktop, investigation. Now, within here, we have the lap, yep, we have the PCAP. Now, this is where we're going to add our flags. So as mentioned, I'm doing the dash T. Oops, if I could spell. I'm going to add the dash T. Dash E and yeah, I think that's it. So we're going to do dash T against uh, field. And I'm going to do dash E against data. And I'm going to use the redirect symbol. And we're going to create a random um, text file. Um, and we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Fields. That redirect. And the folder. Um, let's name this data. Oh, you guys can't see. Hopefully, this is not too small for you guys. Let me full screen. Now that was the issue last time. Data. That could be confusing. Um, I'll just name it results. 
because we're already using a TXT. All right. All right, let's do dir, which is pretty much ls. We have the results file there. It looks, it has a, a lot of data to it. So what we could do, I'm going to minimize this. There's the results file. All right, I'm back. <laughs> so this has been an interesting one. So what I noticed here, um, let's say you take a portion of the code here. What you'll do is not only will you import it into CyberChef, you have to get rid of the duplication. So, okay, hopefully I did not mess it up. Let me actually go back. Okay. So, and I'm not gonna do all of it because it's gonna be crazy time consuming and I'll just jump back when it's done. Let's see if I got that right. See, oh my gosh. So, <laughs> uh, all right, so yes, you're gonna have to do that for the rest of the, uh, the hexadecimal. And I'm, I'm just gonna do this off screen or show you guys the results off screen, but that's pretty much what you have to do. So I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys in a sec. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm back. I'm back. Oh my gosh. That took like, man, we got it. We got it. We got it, man. <laughs> we got it. Jeez, what kind of question is that? Password for my uh, sec account. You think you can catch me? Wow. Holy smokes. Yo, that one is no joke. Oh, wait. Oh, my goofy self. I, I think they, they just want me to do this, this portion. Okay. Um, yo, <laughs> what kind of question is that? That's crazy, man. All right, so this is pretty much what I was doing past 20 minutes just tab left delete tab left delete come on i think i got the rhythm <sighs> let's go <Whew. laughs> i don't think you're gonna see this in the field to be honest but hey it, it it is what it is um uh, my sec account what, what is it my account username what is that? A sec account? Is that what it? Is that what they want us to do? Password for my sec? Yeah, that's the username. Wow! What a crazy way to end the lab like that. Like, yo, <laughs> what in the world? Oh, I just deleted the key. We're done. We're done, man. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to never miss a video. In the meantime, remember to join our, us on Discord. Tune in every Friday at 6 p.m. BST for BTL Replay. Thanks everyone and see you next time. <laughs>